Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to add a vignette to a photo in Photoshop. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky. This is, of course, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to add a vignette to a photo in Photoshop. Now, if you've never heard of a vignette, you've probably seen it before. You can get this in photography, cinematography. Essentially, it's where the edges of your image or the screen become darker, or in some cases, lighter, and it can put more emphasis on the subject or a different part of the screen, typically more towards the center. So it becomes darker or lighter around the edge emphasis on the middle and it can be quite a powerful effect it can make a scene or a photo look a bit more dramatic i'm going to show you how to do that right now it's really easy so we'll jump to the screen and get started right here so we're now in photoshop and you can see we have an image the subject is dancing on a rooftop pretty pretty cool very badly retouched by me as you can see here and what i'm going to do to create the vignette is go to the bottom of the layers panel click on the adjustment icon and select hue saturation it brings up this dialog box and we'll just drag this all the way to the left to about minus 80, something like this. So it's really dark. And then I'm going to select the gradient tool. If you don't see this, just look under the paint bucket tool. So just left click and hold on the paint bucket tool. Gradient tool is under there. Click up here on the gradient slider and just make sure you click on the default black to white gradient in the top left corner. Click OK and select the second gradient type along. So radial gradient. This will emanate out from or towards the center. And what we're gonna do is with the mask selected, just click in the center and drag out towards the edge. And you can see that it creates the vignette effect. Now, if you don't see this, if you see something that looks like that and it's the other way around, there's two ways around this. What you can do is with the mask selected over here, press Command or Control I on the keyboard and it will flip the vignette effect around. Or what you can do is just go up here and check reverse. And then with the gradient tool selected, just do that again. So we're gonna click in the center. Now, depending on how long you make your line, that's gonna determine how focused or how less focused your vignette is gonna be. So you can see if I drag really, really far, it becomes much more subtle. If I click on the subject's face and drag a short line, you can see it becomes more like a spotlight. You can really kind of use this to highlight certain parts of an image. So I'm gonna just click and drag like this. Now it doesn't matter which direction you drag because we are of course using a radial gradient. So it's all just a, a circle anyway. But the important thing is how long the line is. So I'm gonna just do something like this. Actually, no, I'm gonna do it one more time. There we go. Something a bit more pronounced. So this puts a lot of focus on the subject. So what we can do now is actually double click on the thumbnail for our hue and saturation adjustment layer. And now this is where we get a little bit more control. So we can adjust the lightness like so. We could go the other way and make it white if we wanted. All the way down, you can see the edges become black. It becomes really pronounced. Now, the way I often use this is actually something quite subtle. So you can see here, I've gone for minus 50. And after a while, you look at this image and you'll just think, you, you know, you won't even see that the vignette's there. But if I actually go and turn this off and back on in the layers panel, you can see it does have quite a considerable effect, but it just, it's really subtle and it helps something like a subject, for example, really stand out. Something else we can also do is double click on the thumbnail again. We could even check colorize and we can adjust things like saturation. So if we wanted something a bit bonkers like this, we could adjust these sliders and introduce uh, color as well. But uh, I'm just going to deselect that because it looks ridiculous, to be honest. And there we go. That's a super quick way to create vignettes in Photoshop that you can use with your photos. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.